Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the, Am- of the Amazon Affiliate Niche Sites course. And um, in this episode, I'll continue with what we're discussing in previous ed- episode. So this is the part B to the um, writing part for your niche site. So this second part of the writing of uh, the writing episode is about structuring your review article and informational article. I know we started with review article, and I showed you. A basic structure of every article in the part A, but then there are some much more important stuffs that I would be talking about in this second part of the article writing episode of the course. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, first, I would like to establish some facts. There is something called LSI in Google Algorithm Ranking Factor. LSI means Latest Semantic Index latent semantic index that's the meaning of lsi now let me show you what lsi means there are times when a particular page will contain some words let's say you have a page now about apple apple is a random word apple could be apple could be describing a company which is uh, the general apple and iphone that we know about and at the same time apple could be describing a fruit so if these things are not well specified Google might get confused. It might end up ranking a site that has to do with Apple, Apple laptop for Apple fruit. So that is what latent semantic index does. That is what the main reason why they invented invented latent semantic index on Google. The idea behind latent semantic index is that the Google algorithm will search through that web page and look at words and find association between those words. Typically, a page that is about Apple, the fruit Apple. Will contain some other words that are related to fruit, nutrition, food, healthy living, health benefits, calories, and all of that. And a page that is related to about Apple that is referring to laptop, will, uh, laptop or the technology company will refer to let's say phone, RAM, uh, screen size, resolution, and all of that. So the idea behind latent semantic index is to give such algorithm an idea of what the page is all about so let's check google for example now now our, our common example that we've been using so far in this training is best um i think best cake pan or something yes let's say best cake pan for best cake pan let's just use best cake pan for this example now now Look at these words that are, that are bolded. These words, these are example of LSI, latent semantic index. This is the, these are the keywords that is actually telling Google that this page is about the pan that is used in baking, right? These are the words that are establishing relevance to that particular page. Words like uh, aluminium, obviously the material is made of aluminium. Words like uh, bakeware round square non-stick so whenever you do a common google search and you see words that are in bold like this like this this one this one over um it's an indication that it is the ideal the side for that particular page if you take a good look at it you see that this is another page non-stick crown these words they are bold they are uh, like the bold words they are common to both this business insider.com page and this um big big from scratch.com page imagine see big where round big where this is big where you see big where this is round this is square this is square somewhere here this is non-stick this is non-stick as well so the idea is that these words help google to establish relevance when they are trying to rank your page or categorize what your page is all about so when you are writing your article the idea is to use as many lsi as possible use as many lsi as possible on your page so how do you get lsi that is what i'm about to show you now now whenever you are writing an, a particular article you want to come to google and search for that keyword let's say we are writing about uh, best cake pan for wedding cake for example now best cake pan for wedding cake you will discover that this word is appearing on most of the pages that are ranking aluminium non-stick non-stick 
Carfilone, Classic with Bakeware. So you want to extract this word, about 10 of them, you want to get them, you want to open your notepad and put them in your notepad such that you write an article in such a way that whenever you are writing, these words, you will use them as a phrase while writing. You discover that uh, the keyword we are trying to rank for is back cake, cake pans for wedding cakes, right? Look at the LSI. Some of the LSI has to do with cake pan. Some of them, they have to do with wedding. Look at wedding. Wedding, cake, cakes, wedding. So, this are uh, association of words that will give you an idea of what the page is all about. And getting your LSI is very, very simple. Once you get your particular keyword, you come to google.com, put in the keyword, and take note of these words that are bold in your search results page. These bolded keywords are your LSI. And all you have to do is make sure that they appear in your article as well. Just open a notepad and put and put them there. Open a notepad, just copy non-stick around cake and make sure that your, your page contains at least 5 or 10 of these keywords. It gives, uh, it, it establishes a session of words for your particular page. Although there are tools to do to get this done but these are expensive tools and it does not uh, really make sense for you to invest so much money on tools especially when you are just starting out so that is why i'm showing you the free way to get most of these things done as time goes on you will get to realize that there are tools to get this page analyzed and extract the lsi without having to check for the bolded word so look at this one professional this is bold professional american test kitchen dimension 9 by 13 professional round square 8 by 8 layer those are keywords that should be found on the on any page that has to do with best cake pan for wedding cakes so if your page no matter how long your article is no matter how perfect you think your article is if your article does not contain some of these keywords obviously it will be difficult for google to establish the relevance of your page to your keyword so that is the primary function of LSI. Whenever you are writing a review article, always make sure that you use LSI as much as possible. Aside from your primary keyword, use LSI. So you copy your primary keyword, you put it into the search box, you put it in the search box, then you take note of all these bolded words and use it in your article as your LSI. That is the central concept behind LSI. So yes. Once, you're at, uh, once you've extracted your LSI and your primary keyword and you're about to write your article, there is something I should have mentioned when I was doing the part A for this uh, course. So, and um, it's about using your keyword strategically in your article. Now, it is easy for you to write it. Let me show you some examples. Let me show you some examples of how keywords are being used. Let's say we are best, um, best, best, best. Uh, Toilet seat. I think I used best toilet seat as an example the other time in the first video. Yes, best toilet seat. This site is ranking for best toilet seat. Let's see. One, um, two, three, this I'm I'm picking review articles, Amazon pages that you can easily relate to. So yes, I've opened three Amazon pages now. Now what I want to take note is this. I told you the introduction comes first. Within your introduction, try as much as possible to use your exact keyword within that first 100 words of the article. Let us see if these ones are doing the same thing. Best toilet, toilet seat. Oh, they are not doing it. Okay. Oh, yes, they are not doing it because they are not trying to rank for that keyword. Look at their, uh, you are your most comfortable toilet seat. That is what they are interested in. So, let's check. Best toilet toilet seat aha see this is the first time this one is appearing on the page best toilet seat the best practice is to make sure that your primary keyword this one appears in your introduction part this part of your article at the very worst make sure that it appears in the first hundred words of your article let me show you sites big big sites and how they are implementing this this is another page best um toilet seat make sure that your keyword c in the introduction part the keyword appears twice of course yeah but don't overdo it just, just make sure that it appears at least at the very least once in the in the first hundred words that's a good way to show 
search engine what your page is all about i want to show you some other examples of big big sites that see this one is trying to run for best wireless earbud and see first hundred words even as a sub heading best wireless earbud right that's one and another article that they have here uh best smart watches best smart watches in the first hundred words you must make sure that your your keyword appears in the first hundred words that is a rule of thumb please never forget that so and again you can use it as a phrase within your article but the main thing is never overdo it if you are writing a 1500 words article or 1000 words your keyword should not appear your exact phrase that phrase that you are targeting for should not appear more than twice in a 1000 words article the, the higher the number of article the higher the chances of increasing the uh number of times that your primary keyword can appear but if it's just a 1000 words article it should not appear more than twice i suggest that you put it in the introduction once and you put it in the conclusion once so that is that about uh lsi and putting your uh using your keyword within your article now there is uh, one other important part that i want to mention before i wrap up this session so that is the use of headings and sub headings Look at this particular page, 10 best smart watches. This is an H2 headings. In, uh, in structuring a site, there is something we call H1, H2, H3, H4, and up to H7, I think. H1 is like the most important word on your page. That is the way the internet is structured. H1 is the heading of your title. This is the H1. H1. If you are trying to rank it for, for a particular page or a particular keyword, you must make sure that your keyword appear in your H1. You must make sure that your keyword appear in your H1. See? But by default, thanks to WordPress, by default, your page title is always your H1. So this is why whenever you are writing your article, I will discuss more about it when we get to the technical part of setting up your site. Whenever you are writing your article, you must make sure that your keyword appears in the post title all the time. It must appear because your post title bears the H1 of your page. H1 is the most important word, just like I said. Now, you can, uh, this is H1. You see, this is the keyword they are trying to rank for. Best wireless earbud. I tell you, it is a must. If it's not there, Google would not see. This is the H1. Best, best toilet seat. It must appear in the it must appear in the page title of your article so once that is settled now h2 and h3 are very very important let me show you a page that relies on h2 and h3 to rank their site this is one of uh, my sites actually so it's a new site so what we do here is to create is to create a balance for keywords right is to create a balance for keywords such that at the end of the day we end up with we end up ranking for more keywords instead of the primary keyword the primary keyword we are targeting in this article is best gifts best gift for one year's with boys i'll copy that now and search so that you understand the concept of using h1 and h2 very well don't forget google.com is important not google.co.uk or google.com.ng google.com now I'll paste that keyword here. Best gift for one year old. Scroll down. What I want you to see is okay. Yes, what I want you to see is this. See this one unique birthday gift for one year old. These are the type of phrases you want to use in your H2 headings. Unique gift ideas, award winning educational so now the idea is to find a way to use some of these phrases once you search for a primary keyword you want to open a notepad and say okay unique birthday gifts unique birthday gifts and uh gift ideas and award-winning toys so now aside from using this as phrases in between your article you can use them as H2, second heading or third heading as well. This is what we've been doing for Minia Maximus.
say top top gift is a keyword that we are interested in see top gift for one year old so instead of repeating the primary keyword here we are using some of the phrases that we found here as a subheading you can use it either as a subheading or as a phrase in between your article the idea is that at the end of the day you are not just ranking for that primary keyword we are ranking for several other keywords that people are not even targeting on a regular day so that is the idea behind h2 h2 headings h2 headings basically and h3 headings what i try to do is the name of my products i use them as h3 headings i'll tell you the seo benefits much much later in the future so this is my h2 heading this is an h2 heading. this is h3 the name of my product that i'm reviewing i use them as h2 headings and to make sure that at least they are also appearing significant to search engines sometimes some people might just even search for the name of the product they might not even be searching for best toy gift they might know this particular product somewhere and just search for skewish classical rattle well, because it's appearing on this page to automatically your page will rank for it as well and uh, if you land on number one you get traffic and you hand for that particular page so that is the overview of the benefit of h1 and h2 use h1 and h2 and phrases to capture more keywords so these are uh, the phrases that you throw in between your article or you use them as a second heading or third heading remember the first heading is the most important it must contain your primary keyword the second headings are phrases that you got from such uh, ng pages like uh, using like his unique birthday gift or gift ideas or award-winning toys those are the second heading your third heading are the name of the product you are reviewing this is exactly what they are doing here this is the first heading this is the second and this is an h2 tag you see more h2 tag on this article as well this is also h2 tag see best sports headphones so at the end of the day they are not just ranking for best wireless earbuds they are also ranking for best sports headphones this is an h2 tag this is the name of the product and so on and so forth extremely budget friendly you see these are phrases that they discover people are using alongside the search search them so you master these things you master them over time right over time once you have your primary keyword you bring your primary keyword on google you search for it then you take note of all these phrases i believe you must have installed all this uh, plugin that instructed you to install so you copy some of them and you find a way of using it in your article such that your article will not just be ranking for the primary keyword but it will also rank for some of this keyword at the end of the day so uh that is that about writing for your niche site and um about outsourcing some people have been saying well they can't write they can't they can't write they find it difficult to write or they don't have the luxury of time to write frankly you can always outsource I have some Nigerians writer that charge as little as two naira per word to get my writing work done, and these guys are good. In fact, they are really, really good. So you can reach out to me or connect with them, or better, still, you can just head over to Naira Land and uh, post in the job session or the business session that you are looking for writer. You train them. You just use this video to explain what is expected of them, and um, you give them a test work if you are satisfied you keep them you brought you sharpen their skills over time and if you are not satisfied you fire them you get another person to find somebody that you are okay with so at the end of the day it all boils down to you delegating duty to people because you know what you expect them to do for you so i will um if you are in need of a writer you can reach out to me i'll connect you with those guys or better still i'll put in the link to their facebook page as a description on this video so uh, that is that about that and um i'll see you in the next video